Hello, this is Scotty McCoy. I am the author of the Ultimate Friday the 13th Trivia Book, and I am doing another book titled The Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia, and I am interviewing the cast and crew of the Friday the 13th franchise, and I currently have on the phone with me Derwin Jordan, and he played Waylander in Jason X. Hi, Derwin. How you doing? I'm great, Scotty. How are you? I'm doing good. It's a little cold out. It was snowing overnight, so it's a little chilly out. <laughs> the benefits of living in Pennsylvania. <laughs> But I now live in LA, so it's uh, you know 80 degrees and fabulous, and I love it. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> so the first question I got for you is uh, not related to Friday the Thirteenth, but it's how did you get your start into acting? Uh, it's funny, as a kid, you know, the arts were really important to my family. You know, we always went to, like, theater shows and dance shows. Uh, my dad was actually a professional dancer when he was younger, and it just kind of stuck with me. You know, I always did um, plays in high school and that kind of thing, and when I left high school, I didn't know I wanted to be an actor, to be honest with you, and I went off to college and didn't really find anything that kind of jazz I mean, I thought, well, let me let me try the acting thing, and I got into a theater program and haven't really looked back since. Awesome. That is so cool. So then what was your audition like for Jason X? Oh, it was great. I mean, the, the, the director was fantastic. I went in the first time, and they had, you know, a scene from uh, the movie that I ended up, ended up not being in the movie, and it was when we discover um, Jason Frozen. You know, we've kind of come back to old Earth, which is completely decimated, and we go into that freezer, and we find him there, and he comes out. So it was a scene where we... Our, have our trackers on and something is coming up on our sensors so you know the director really wanted you know the intensity of you know what is this you know life form that we seem to be tracking and is it dangerous and that kind of thing so i had about a two three page you know scene to kind of do that with not a whole lot of dialogue but mostly just action stuff and for me the audition you know i'm african-american and i guess african-canadian really when i went into the audition i told the director straight up i said okay I know the deal with these horror movies, that the black guy always dies early. I said, I'm telling you right now, if I don't make it to at least page 75, I'm walking out the room. And they all laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what got me the gig. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. So then how was your death scene filmed or prepped? Everything leading up to it from the attack with Jason leading to the explosion. Uh, it was great. You know, um, but the guy who played Jason, who was a great guy, who played them throughout all the movies, right. you know, we had this huge kind of battle sequence, you know, where, you know, we're trying to get away. He comes up. I kind of sacrifice myself. He literally, like, throws me across the room. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks I'm already dead. They get into a new chamber. They're like, okay, let's, you know, let's blow the hatch. And they're like, oh, no, you know, Waylander still has the remote. And then everybody looks back, and there I am, kind of all bloodied and on my last legs, yeah. going, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, the prep was just us working out that sequence of him coming in, kind of, you know, throwing me across the room, you know, yeah. making sure that was going to be all safe, and then be able to cut back to, you know, me kind of lying there, you know, with the detonator in my hand and being able to, to blow everything up. Right. So, um, now, was there a stunt double for him when he threw you? No. Um, I, when I went to theater school, I did a sequence of, you know, stunt classes and whatnot. And it wasn't a huge stunt. And they asked, they said, you know, do you want somebody to double this? But we'd really love to be able to kind of be close, you know, on you. And I said, yeah, I, I think I can work that out. So it's kind of like a flip and then a fall. You know, the fall, fortunately, uh, you know, they had a bit of pad put down for me. So I wasn't like landing on the hard grate that was there at the set. But most of us in that film actually did most of our own stuff. You know, awesome. there wasn't a huge amount of action sequences. And they asked us if we were comfortable with that. And we all were like, yeah, as long as it's, you know, we had a stunt coordinator who was great, who kind of took us through everything. So we all kind of did our own stuff. Right. Now, the explosion scene. Now, that was all, was that all like special effects or CGI or how did they do all that? It was a combination, you know, they did have, you know, some small explosions, you know, going okay. off and then the big kind of, you know, engulfed in flames that was done by CGI. Okay. To hear the rest of my interview with Derwin Jordan, who played Waylander in Jason X, you can order the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia. To find out when the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia is for sale, you can like my Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com slash smccoyauthor.